Hey guys, it's Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein. I'm in my backyard on a sunny afternoon, and that is what we are all hoping for, crossing our fingers for, on Monday, August 21st, for the Great Carolina Eclipse. And we've been talking about it a lot, but maybe you haven't had time to get yourself some solar glasses or a solar viewer or maybe you're getting really fancy and you're getting something to cover up your camera lens so you can safely look at and take pictures of the solar eclipse on Monday, August 21st. Remember, it's gonna hit all of North Carolina. It's gonna hit all of North America. For most of us, it's only gonna be a partial eclipse. And if that's the case, you need to have some type of solar view or solar glasses to keep your eyes safe. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make a safe at home solar viewer that you can use with cereal boxes. And in our house, it's all about life cinnamon and frosted mini wheats. So the idea is you have a couple holes in this and through the wonders of these supplies, white paper, aluminum foil, scissors, pencil, and a small nail, you can make a safe at home solar viewer. So the great thing about the cereal box viewer is Everyone has cereal, everyone has all the supplies you need, and it's still safe and it can be fun to do. It takes less than 10 minutes. You can do it with the whole family. So first thing you need to do, get yourself a cereal box, eat all the cereal, or in our case, we just pulled the bag out and are gonna use that the rest of the week. Um, what I do is you cut two spaces on the top of the cereal box. And the great thing about cereal boxes is they're made of cardboard, so it's gonna create a dark area inside and then the two areas at the top, one is gonna let the sunlight in, the other is where you're gonna stick your eye. So what you do is you put the cereal box down over your white piece of paper, you trace it out, and then cut it out so it'll fit on the bottom of the box. That's where the sun is gonna be viewed during the eclipse. Then you take the white piece of paper, and if you've cut it right, you don't even need to tape it, you just shove it down here at the bottom, and again, that's where the little sunlight is gonna B during the eclipse. Okay, you got your white paper down there, you got your box closed, and you've got two holes. One of the holes, you're gonna put your piece of foil. Okay, so this is where your eye is gonna be, and in this piece of foil, you're gonna take your nail, and this is where you probably wanna have mom or dad do it because I've messed it up, and well, you could mess it up too. This is where you're gonna do the pinhole, which is gonna be the size of a nail hole, and you're just gonna poke it down in there, and make yourself a hole where the sunlight is going to come through. So through the magic of TV, we fast forwarded, I've done a little bit of work, and the great thing about the cereal box solar viewer is you don't need glasses to look at the eclipse. Take your glasses off, line yourself up with the sunshine, so the sun, let's say, is behind the camera, or maybe it's coming right from above. You have to do a little adjusting, but you're gonna line it up where our little hole we poked in the aluminum foil and that we've now taped down. I've taped the top of the box too. Got your white paper down in there. You line yourself up so the sun is coming through the hole. You look through this side and you, again, you have to line yourself up, but you will see a little white dot or a little white circle. That's the sun. And when the eclipse starts, you're gonna to start to see that perfect circle get covered up by the moon and become a crescent. And at some point, it'll be 90 to 95% covered. So again, this is an easy project you can do at home. You might have to eat a lot of cereal, but the sacrifices we make for science. Now, we are headed up to Franklin, North Carolina, where there will be a total eclipse. This is what we expect it to look like in central North Carolina. It's gonna start a little after one o'clock and go till about four o'clock. One more thing about solar glasses or solar covers for your camera or the solar viewers, if you've got yours by now and you've tried them on, you know, you put them on and you just look around and everything is completely black. Remember, these only work when you look up at the sun. And I put a solar viewer, a solar lens on this camera and we've pointed it at the sun and this is what it's gonna look like. You can see how everything's darker. So you know what it looks like when you look at the sun with your eyes, we're not supposed to do that. But when you put a solar filter on a camera, this is what it's gonna look like. And this is what's gonna allow us to see great pictures and video of the solar eclipse on Monday, August 21st. 
If you're gonna be outside for all that time, it's still gonna be summer. Make sure you grab some sunblock because I have a feeling that a lot of us are gonna be so concentrating on the eclipse that we're gonna forget about all the other normal summer activities. It's gonna be hot, make sure you have plenty of water. Make sure you have sunblock for you and the whole family. If you are traveling to the total eclipse area, I don't recommend traveling on Monday, August 21st, Eclipse Day, because there are gonna be thousands upon thousands of extra people on the highways and interstates going to see this once in a lifetime opportunity. We'll be covering it here on CBS North Carolina. Again, I'll be up in totality. Up in the mountains, we have several teams from our sister stations in South Carolina covering it. We'll be covering it when it starts in Oregon, and then 90 minutes later when it gets here to North Carolina, we'll of course have teams throughout the Triangle too watching what's going on. So it'll be a big event for the entire country, and we'll be covering it for you safely here on CBS North Carolina. Again, crossing our fingers for sunny skies on Monday, August 21st.